All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well uh, Libra Rising. Weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, um, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you're interested to learn to read the same way, uh, my third season of tarot classes is starting at 21st of June, six weeks long season for, um, with a lecture every week in a duration of a two hours per lecture. You can sign up for it through the tarot classes section at my website as well. So with that being set aside, moving to the general reading of the week straight away. Now the first card, which marks the very topic of your week is going to be the uh, Six of Cups, followed by uh, the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. We do have the Magician card. Moving next is going to be the gift, uh, the uh, challenges that you have to face and overcome here. That is going to be the Tree of Wands. I mean, really? Okay, so Tree of Wands is the challenge. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. And that will be the Nine of Swords, followed by uh, the impression that you're going to leave it to the people around. That is going to be the impression of the King of Pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, that is to be the Two of Cups. Okay. So... Well, there, there is two ways how we can look at this reading, to be honest. Uh, that is one of the uh, highly specialized, um, how can I say, alignment of cards. Because uh, uh, as a general uh, representation of those cards, just as much those cards may advise you to give away your love into the world, you know. Because uh, with those energies, oh my God, I mean, you, you, you could be accepted for what you are so you don't have to change for somebody so that person can love you okay um but let's go general as this is a general reading uh the first two cards here which are the energies and then we do have the topic uh, they, they pretty strongly suggest that this week through the energies or through your personal sovereignty through your skills knowledge if you will exceptionally communicational uh cum cum communicative um, skills, you will be able to present yourself in a, such a, a bright light, okay, that ultimately going through the weeks, the endeavors and the enterprises that you are going to tackle with, they are going to bring you a, a lot, a lot of joy. So in other words, this week is given to you through the situation is that whatever you throw yourself into, in terms of a career endeavors, in terms of relationship uh, associations as well, you're going to pretty much enjoy your time with into these uh, into these enterprises but they really strongly suggest about relationship guys and especially if you are single those energies are going to bring the person that is going to take you or accept you for what you truly are okay instead of trying to change you in any way and here with the six of uh, cups the, that card promises that there will be uh, as a situation, it is how things are going to start in between you two. It is that there will be emotional and physical attraction also, meaning that you are going to like each other physically, I mean, and also you are going to have some emo emotional uh, flow in between you two. Now, this is, these are a very early stage, okay? We can classify that as a crush, if you will, and it, it will depend upon you how well you you will be able to capitalize on these initial on that initial uh, attraction and that leads us to uh to the next one here which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome and that is the tree of uh, wands so tree of wands as a challenges it speaks for itself it is all about that the challenge and this is the personal challenge so you have to challenge yourself to go for more because the tree of pentacles uh, the tree of wands i'm sorry it does speaks that you are sitting on a well-established foundations in regards to the enterprise that this week offers you 
guy, it could be a new job once again, or it could be a promotion into job, it could be the new project or the current project that takes off suddenly and so on and so forth. Uh, but you, you pretty much deserve that with the three of wands. You work for it, you do have the foundation, you do have the patterns there. And now it's very important to uh, to challenge yourself to go for more or with the three of wands it is the results of your toils to meet your expectation okay so you should not stop doing what you are doing until you don't have it the way you want to have it it's it's simple as that with uh, with the three of wands um what was I about to say? Uh, on, and, and yeah, if that's about relationship, okay, um, you have laid down the foundations and the patterns through, for example, socializing, through, for example, paying attention to your makeup, to your dressing, and to how you behave and these kind of stuff. And all these cumulative efforts have brought the person that is going to take you for what you truly are. Uh, and now you have to challenge yourself to accept this person, although, you know, the uh, it may be a bit scary because, you know, as that person accepts you for what you are, you have to accept them for what they are as well, meaning that you should not try to fix the differences in between you two. Moving next, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you have to, that you get to enjoy throughout the week. And thank God that we do have this card here. Because gift and blessing, we do have two things. The first and the major thing of that card, it is that all of your worries and fears, if you will, are going to prove themselves futile. For example, if you have been afraid that you are going to be duped alone into your relationship, you are to be reassured throughout the week that that is not going to happen, at least based on the current circumstances. Okay, If you have been afraid that you are going to be laid off from work, well, you are to be reassured that that is not going to happen based on the current circumstances, right? And for some, it may play out in a very different way. It may play out that you are not going to be reassured that you're going to be laid off from work. But before you get laid off from work, another work shows up that completely makes your worries futile, all right? The, the, the bottom line with this card is that whatever you are concerned of, uh, it will it will resort itself throughout this uh, throughout this week, and it will allow you. This card allows you to face your fears from another standpoint, meaning the things that you are scared to do, you are no longer going to be scared to do throughout this week. For example, to say to your uh, to the person of interest that you like them, okay? Because if you don't ask, the answer always is going to be no, unfortunately. So moving next, we do have the impression that you're going to give into the people around. That is a fantastic impression of the King of Pentacles. It's pretty much people are going to see you very reasonable and very worth a while. Okay, in the sense of that uh, your boss sees you that if they give you, they will get in return that if they, for example, raise your salary, they will get additional devotion into the career. Uh, if, um, you know, for example, your partner into your relationship addresses you with more attention, you are going to give them more attention back in return. So people are going to see you as a subject ready to play the game of giving and taking and be completely generous from your behalf to those who are generous with you and to be completely ungiving to those who are not willing to give back to you. So in other words, people are going to see you very fair and as well uh, from a more negative standpoint with the King of Pentacles, people are going to see you a bit self-absorbed. In some extreme cases, they may see you as well selfish that you don't want to give unless there is nothing in return. But that is the balance, isn't it? I mean, you cannot constantly give and give and give because at the end you will be left with nothing to give, right? So you have to get something in return. And it doesn't have to be the same thing, right? It could be something that it is reciprocal in value for you, but different in nature. You can give money to somebody to, to loan money for somebody um, or uh, and then request a, a favor in return. You may not need your money back. The point is, is that the value needs to be kept around. And the last one here, it is the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering. So we do have two of cups and this is why I took the love narrative. That card points that um, 
you should not be shying uh, sh shying away from it okay when the love tries to get into your life you have to let it in uh, that being said pride and shyness you gotta put them on the shelf and you have to try to make a contact with the person that you are falling in love with that you are crashing with and so on and so forth and um, if we have to look at it into a career perspective because this is a general reading it should not refer only to a relationship statuses because some people doesn't care about those if it is about the, the other kind of subject here the two of cups is always about maintaining a, a positive and good environment in the sense of that you should not try to fight with your colleagues at work or with your friends you know and you should always try to maintain how can i say it a a, a, a balanced um balanced environment i mean you don't have to agree with their points of view you don't have to you know go by what they are saying but you should respect their points of view and you should not mock of what they are saying right so this is what it's going to take to maintain a rather balanced and positive environment in your working place in your family uh, in your uh, uh, social circle and so on and so forth so that being said Libra this was your weekly general tarot reading uh, June 1st to June 7 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again if you're interested in a private reading you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such and as well if you like the way I read tarot cards my third season of tarot classes is starting at 21st of June and um, it will be a six weeks long season, uh, one lecture per week with a duration of 12 hours each lecture. And you can sign up for it at my uh, website as well under the section of a tarot classes. So we may see each other around and until then, bye.